Tom Cotton is the Republican senator from Arkansas. Now, Senator, you famously said, look at that Wuhan lab. They're coming back over a year later and say, it's time for the Americans to admit it came from Fort Detrick, Maryland. Do you have something to say? <laughs> well, Brian, it's pretty telly, telling that the Chinese Communist Party is grasping at such straws that they're pointing the finger at an American military lab and those military games that happened in China last year. This is just about as persuasive as their case that, you know, a bat somehow kissed a skunk and must have introduced this virus into human beings. Look at from the very beginning it's been obvious that the most likely source of this virus is indeed the labs in Wuhan that investigate and research exactly these kind of viruses. Uh, it's too bad that the Democratic Party and public health bureaucrats and social media labeled that some kind of debunked conspiracy theory for a year. Maybe we would have gotten to the bottom of it if they hadn't. The NIH came out today, their director, and said, you know, we should have looked a little bit longer and, and focused a little bit more on the Wuhan lab leak theory. Why is Joe Biden's administration, the NIH and others now coming on board with this theory, at least looking at it? The WHO said something similar. Why now? Well, for all of last year, uh, much of the public health bureaucracy here and around the world was covering for the Chinese Communist Party and their fellow researchers. Look, it's now obvious that the National Institutes of Health and Tony Fauci's agency within the National Institutes of Health funded indirectly gain-of-function research in those labs, which is to say making coronaviruses more contagious and therefore more deadly. That raises a lot of uncomfortable questions. That's why Tony Fauci still thinks that the natural origin theory is the most likely theory, because he's trying to cover up his tracks and trying to avoid answering the questions about why he was funding research that is so risky that even Barack Obama tried to forbid him. Senator, what can be done? You're in the minority, obviously, in the Senate. Normally, there'd be hearings about this and new focus on this. Do you have to just sit back and wait for a Democratic initiative? No, we don't, Brian. In, th in fact, thanks to Republican questions at these hearings over the last few months, we now know that uh, our government was using your tax dollars to fund the research in those labs indirectly through an American nonprofit. We have a lot of documents that suggest in the very early days of this pandemic that Tony Fauci and a lot of his fellow scientists were trying to cover their tracks very quickly. And in the budget votes coming up in the weeks ahead, I suspect you'll see Republicans offering amendments that will ban gain-of-function research and will ban support for Chinese laboratories. Let's see if the Democrats want to stay on record supporting Chinese labs with American tax dollars. Exit question. Do you ever talk to these uh, men and women in the cloakroom on the other side and say, listen, we agree on this. Let's get to work on this in a bipartisan way. Do they do stuff away from the cameras that might give people at home some hope? You can work together on this? Yeah, they do, Brian. And remember, it's Barack Obama who, uh, who tried to ban funding for this research back in 2014. Okay. But Tony Fauci and all these other bureaucrats thought they knew better and they went forward with it. And uh, now they've got to face these very uncomfortable questions. You were there first, Senator. Don't stop now. Thanks so much. Thank you, Brian.